Hello, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this walkthrough of the Alice the Wonderland Oracle. Okay, before we dive into this, I have some explaining to do. <laughs> Lucy, you have some explaining to do. I have so many Alice things now. I don't even have an excuse besides to say I'm apparently obsessed. Uh, and so we are going to dive into this, but first a little bit of information. So I have been working with um, the Alice Tarot by Baba Studios for whew, ever since I got it. It is one of my favorite decks. It's absolutely stunning. I love the layers of story with this deck. I love, I love the way that just like any other deck that is based on a story that um, you can go back to again and again. It just adds so much more context to everything you see in the images. This deck is actually really what made me fall in love with Alice because I, other than Disney, hadn't really accessed the, um, not accessed, I hadn't really read the stories in the books until um, I got this deck. And this really sort of woke that up, I guess you could say, in me. And I was so excited when a long time ago, Peggy... Um, found this fabric. She doesn't have it. It's it's ages ago that this was found and I had her cut enough for a bag for me I love how on this side it's upright technically and on this side it's upside down and It just makes me think of her going down the rabbit hole anyways um, So I actually this was back when we had some colored cord and everything anyways So I set this bag aside until this deck came in and then it came in and it was a whole big thing So love this deck absolutely love working with it more recently I actually got the uh, and this is another Alice in Wonderland fabric. I don't, again, I think this one's gone now, but um, I can always ask her if she has more, but I think this one's done. And I got gifted the Dame Darcy Queen Alice Tarot. And oh, so between these two now, I have two Alice themed tarot decks and there's more to be collected if I should choose to collect because there is the Wonderland Oracle um, that is a Llewellyn deck. And there is the... Um, little tarot in a tin, the Wonderland tarot in a tin as well. So I could see myself with a little collection of, <clears throat> of Alice decks. And I am sort of planning to do an Alice deep dive later on this year where I work with, well, later on this year, at the time I'm filming this, I may actually release this video around the time I do that deep dive, but, um, where I just work with Alice themed stuff for a month. And to that end, I've even managed to pick up um, this really beautiful edition of Alice in Wonderland and through the looking glass that has all of Tenniel's original illustrations, but they've been colored. So beautiful. And this copy of the book has a beautiful ribbon bookmark and it's cloth bound and it's just, it's lovely. So I have a little, I have a little Alice thing kind of happening and I really wanted to have an Oracle deck to work with these other two tarot decks. And this one is one that's been on my list for a long time. And I finally pulled the trigger right at the beginning of this year. And I was so delighted when this came in because I thought this was a glossy deck by Blue Angel, but it is a matte cardstock and it feels so luxurious and smooth. It feels like it has a silk matte lamination. It feels really like not rose petally, but like really smooth and lovely. So I was really excited about that. Um, and of course, a beautiful Blue Angel guidebook. I do think Blue Angel is starting to come out more and more with um, matte cards, but look at this. And I have been wanting also a Jasmine Beckett Griffith um, Lucy Cavendish collaboration deck in my collection for a long time too. I did have the beautiful Creatures Tarot, but that was not Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith, it was somebody else. And I just couldn't get along with that deck, I tried. Um, but this artwork to me is so iconic and so memorable. And so yeah, I'm really excited. Let's do a flip through of the cards and then we'll take a quick look at the guidebook. Oh. All in the golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. I have to say, I love that there is the phrase, like the key phrase for the, the card, and then all these individual little keywords, which just is going to make this a very usable deck for me. I wonder what will happen next. Ready for adventure, precipice of change, and pause before action. And of course, this looks like when she's reading um, with Dinah outside with her sister, um, right before everything really happens. 
and it feels kind of chronological I just realized all in the golden afternoon is kind of a phrase that comes up in the very beginning of the story yeah so far this seems chronological follow the white rabbit curiosity meets opportunity yeah this is chronological according to the stories I think uh, this is really interesting I didn't actually realize that was going to be the case uh, falling the unknown descent momentum and change becoming braver and I like that the art style shifts a bit I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy that but so far I'm actually not minding it uh, resilience experience growing stronger and fresh perspective choices feeling blocked restrained investigate look closely ask questions think before acting this is one of my favorite cards in the entire deck and every time I see this I'm like I need to buy this deck because I think it's such a brilliant card do not drink poison do not do things you know are bad for you um, this is such a great card and as a reader I feel like this gives me so much to play with around self-sabotage and it just it this one card let me know that this deck wasn't going to be just all like fluff do you know what I mean I love it when I can see some shadow work or some confronting stuff in a deck like this it's just it's just a great um, indicator that it's going to not be imbalanced curiouser and curiouser discovery and inqu inquiry weirdness and curiosity Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. Ugh. Changed in the night. You have changed quickly. Lead the way. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. This looks like the caucus race scene. All must have prizes. Yes. Trying to please everyone. Oh, I love that. Again, more shadow work, right? That people pleasing stuff. Clock time, time, pressure, and in a rush. Love that they both have pink eyes. The rabbit is described as having pink eyes in the story. So this is just, it kind of shows um, that almost like she is the rabbit in this. It's just interesting. Messages for a rabbit. Service to the animal world. A moment's regret. Nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. Growing up, wanting to Grow in experience, rejections of perpetual youth. No need to fear. Remember how peace, how, excuse me, how powerful you are. Oh, I love that. There's so much dimension to this artwork too. Be, or excuse me, who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. And so these, both of these um, phrases, who are you and keep your temper, both sound like um, nods to when she's meeting with the caterpillar. The right way, learning to create what you desire. Set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right direction. We're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. I wish there was um, a tea party sort of scene here because I think we're all mad here is a tea party quote use your time well make every moment count and there's a lot of Cheshire Cat in these images and a lot of Alice portraits and I'm fine with that I mean it's thematically it's definitely working for me I do wish there was a little more variety in who was shown oh here's the tea party um I wish there was a little more variety in who was shown in the cards but I'm still I mean this is really Jasmine Beckett Griffith's thing right is these big-eyed girls so of course Alice is a great inspiration for that Wake up, it's your moment. It's always tea time. Eternity, endless moments and repetition. Painting the roses red, covering up errors. Again, with that more shadowy confronting stuff, love it. Nonsense, it's time to talk sense. The Queen of Hearts with Alice. Find the lesson, discover the purpose in a situation, trust that you are learning. Law is not justice, rules that are not fate. Believe, strange encounters. There's a unicorn. Look, unicorn. Okay. Belong to your own dream, create your own life. I love this. She looks a little more grown up here, hey? <clears throat> I want to be a queen. Stating your sovereignty, declaring freedom, passing a test. Impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, fresh perspective. 
Never jam today. Promises that never come to be. Empty words. Not living in the now. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. Oh. Nature communication. Flower energies. Fairy energies. Elemental messengers. Oops. You are rare and free. There are not many like you. Again, looks more grown up in this picture. Uncertainty. Choose who you will become. Keeping up. Immense effort. Advance. Forget who you are. This is the scene from where her and the deer neither can remember their name. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. Oh, I love that. Mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. Manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions. You can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. Such a curious dream. Grounding, returning to reality, coming home. So pretty. Let's get zoomed out. So, so pretty. So we're going to shuffle and draw a card and take a quick look at the guidebook. This cardstock feels really, really nice. It feels like indie deck cardstock. Um, the closest thing I could compare it to would probably be, it feels thicker than like the Naked Heart Tarot. Um, similar to Way of the Panda Tarot. It's got that like silky matte, um, smooth, buttery doesn't clump too badly like as a matte cardstock it's always going to be a little bit more clumpy than a glossy um, or like non-matte cardstock like a semi-matte um, and it does feel like a true matte but it is not rose petal finish if you hate that texture <laughs> lovely um yeah I was really surprised that this came in matte and this is a brand new feature of this deck it is the 2021 printing because I checked the guidebook right away to see what the copyright said this printing 2021 so that is why that's how you can tell if it's matte i had no idea this is what was coming in so i'm really really excited so you do have a card table of contents here with all of the titles this is helpful because the cards are numbered um but they are not alphabetical in their order if that makes any sense all right let's just pull a card so we know which one we're going to read in full Follow your own good advice. Okay, let's take a look at the guidebook. So we have an intro. Um, the Wisdom of Wonderland. Love that. Excited to read that. The Wonderland cards. Reversals when the world is turned upside down. Um, getting to know it. Shuffling. What do you wish to know? Splitting the deck. Layouts. So there's a three card spread. A Celtic cross. Oh, a down the rabbit hole spread. A through the looking glass spread. That's exciting. That'll be fun to try with all my decks. Um, caring for and reading the cards energy. So let's take a look at card 10. We'll take a look at the anatomy here. So you have, ooh. So there's a quote from the, the story. So it says, come, there's no use in crying like that, said Alice to herself rather sharply. I advise you to leave off this minute. She generally gave herself very good advice, though she very seldom followed it. And this is the follow your own good advice card. I love that. So it says, there are times when we become overwhelmed and begin to feel as if there would be nothing better at all than to collapse, cry, and to turn on ourselves, particularly if we have made an error of judgment. This is understandable, and we must be permitted to express who we are and how we feel. However, once Alice has cried about a seemingly unsolvable situation, about forgetting something very important, she tells herself that continuing to cry will have no use. This stern command to her emotions brings her back to a place where she can contemplate what is best done next. Anytime you make an error, it can be helpful to grieve a little for the difficulty you've created. But once you've done this, continuing with the sadness serves no real purpose. It is best to follow Alice's example. Cry, then stop, and follow your own good advice and your own good sense. Receiving this, cards mean, this card means you know what you need to do. You need to clear, ground, and center yourself so you can contemplate what to do next. This card also says that you do know what is best for you and often give yourself excellent advice, but that you don't often follow it. You're being gently advised to settle yourself emotionally, to think through a problem, to stop admonishing yourself, and to follow your good advice to yourself. 
Perhaps treating yourself like a close friend or a dear child will help you to move calmly forward without criticizing yourself too harshly for the situation you currently find yourself in. You can change this if you follow your own very good sense. Divination. Harsh self-judgment for a mistake or an error made. Unmet personal expectation causing inconsolable sadness. A reminder to detach, find clarity, and follow your personal internal guidance system, which has some very practical solutions. Reversed. A refusal to listen to yourself, making the same mistake over and over, feeling that if you become emotional, others will step in to rescue you, thinking that all is doom and gloom, becoming bogged down emotionally, unable to think clearly. So really useful messages there, upright and reversed. And I love that each card has a quote from the story that relates directly to the meaning of the card and the name of the card. So I love, 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 love that. Um, so I'm going to be popping these into their brand new Peggy bag. This actual fabric, I think, was in the same collection as this one and is specifically about Alice. So this one says, Alice, it's got quotes for the book. Alice had begun to think things indeed were really, were, oh, to think that very few things were really important. That's interesting. Alice had begun to think that very few things indeed were really impossible. How interesting. So when Peggy cut this fabric, I don't think she did it on purpose, but this is the beginning of the quote. And when I flip the bag over, even though this is different pieces, when I flip the bag over, it's like the second half of the quote. And there's a whole bunch of other Alice um, words and phrases and bits and pieces on here. So this completes for now my trifecta of gorgeous Alice things. I don't know what I would do if I got another Alice thing. Like I, I'm out of Alice fabric now. I don't know what, what the chances are that we'll find another Alice fabric, but I just love it. I love, and I love the way the peach goes with these gorgeous backings. So let's give these a little fan out. A little fan out. Let me move my book out of the way. Okay, so not so not so bad. They actually slide slid slide pretty well so that my friends is the alice the wonderland oracle thank you so so much for hanging out with me while i did a little tour of this deck i'm really excited to play with it i'm so happy this is finally in my collection cannot wait to hear what you all think of it in the comments section down below please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the walkthrough subscribe if you are new here and don't forget to hit the notification bell you know do all the good youtube -y kind of things Thank you so, so much for joining me and may your magic always shine from the inside out. Bye guys.